Now, your WLKY weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, lots of summer heat recently, as you know, kind of in the middle of this hot stretch. Now, the hottest time that we've had so far this summer season, that was uh, a month ago, June 29th. Uh, high temperature that particular day was 97, hottest day of the year so far. Reason I say this, I think we could be very close to that tomorrow afternoon with heat index values even higher. Now I get this is totally common sense here, but just a, a couple of reminders. If you have to be outside long period of time, make sure you stay hydrated and check the back seat of the car before walking away. Make sure you check on family, friends, the elderly often when we're having this much heat and humidity. And oh yeah, watch those furry friends as well, especially if they're gonna be outside for a long period of time. Make sure they have lots of shade and also some water. Hey, it's cart country in Shepherdsville. Live pictures coming in from the WLKY Chopper HD. Isn't that a cool place right there? The miniature golf area. Uh, the weather today, as you know, just extremely warm again. Another day in the 90s. We're now at 91 degrees, the humidity 47%. Notice the dew point, it's up there. We're approaching 70 degrees and that is oppressive. So the feel like is still in the mid 90s. Here's your weather in motion. Couple of high clouds moving in by late today. Certainly no rainfall. It will stay dry tonight, much of tomorrow and temperatures over the next couple of hours right around that 90 degree mark. Once we uh, uh, go after sunset, if you will, those numbers will settle back into the middle and also the upper 80s. Now, when you wake up in the morning, it's going to be a warm start to the day. Low and middle 70s south of Louisville, middle and upper 70s from the metro and points northward. You know when it starts that warm, that's going to lead to a hot day, and that's exactly what's going to happen tomorrow. A mix of sun and clouds. As I mentioned, it looks to be a dry day, a very hot and muggy day. Afternoon high temperatures, mid, possibly upper 90s in a few spots, expecting right around 97 in the metro tomorrow afternoon. But as you factor in that humidity, the heat index values could be approaching 105, at least in a few spots for several hours tomorrow. And for that reason, the National Weather Service has issued a heat advisory from about I-65 and points off to the west. Again, mainly for tomorrow afternoon, take it easy. And to add insult to injury, yeah, it's another air quality alert day tomorrow on healthful levels of ground ozone expected. Now, let's talk about the good news because we're gonna be watching a cold front, which is now off to the north of us. Here it comes tomorrow evening as it slips across the region. It'll bring with it a chance for a few widely scattered storms. More importantly, cooler air will start slipping into the region Friday and last through the weekend, even into next week. Case in point, 87 Friday, less humid, a lot of clouds Saturday, even a chance for a couple of afternoon rain showers could keep highs in the upper 70s Saturday afternoon. We go from 97 tomorrow to 79 on Saturday. Beautiful weather expected Sunday with partly cloudy skies in mid 80s. Here are the details. Next few hours, mainly clear, warm, sticky, temperatures dropping back through the 80s. We'll wake up to 78 in the morning, quickly low 90s by lunch hour. High temperatures closing in on 97 tomorrow afternoon with that heat index. Could be as high as 105. So again, be careful, take it easy. Chance for a couple of storms tomorrow night as the cold front slips through. Turns less humid and beautiful on Friday, mid and upper 80s. And guys, uh, we could hover in the upper 70s there Saturday as the clouds really thicken up, producing even a chance for a few afternoon showers. And look at the weather Sunday and next week. We're in the middle 80s with 60s at night, so that's pretty good stuff Ooh, for the time of year. Got a 79 there, though. How about that? There. Right? Uh, that's amazing from what we're going to have tomorrow. Yeah. All right, thank you, Jay. Yep.